hey, we have such great conversations when OBG70, Zach's and I do live streams and have special guests. Not everybody wants to sit through almost four hours of live streams, so I'm picking out some really great parts to share in snack size bites. But here's what I want to ask you guys, and I, I would like some, I'd like an honest response. And this, this is not just a line here. I'm really curious. There are shows, movies, TV series, all these things that we have watched as kids or as teenagers. And then as adults, we go back and we try to relive that part of our childhood and we watch it again. And we realize it doesn't hold up. It's just awful. Are we are we suffering some of that too? Is the shows, movies, are they being made for that 13 and 14 year old version of ourselves that we as 50 years old look at these and go, this is garbage because we've already outgrown the target audience. We're no longer in that demographic. Is that a possibility or is it just objectively oh, yeah. bad, which is what I think it is. I think it's objectively bad, but there's always that possibility you're watching you're something gonna... you're watching something as an adult that is aimed at that teenager that 13 14 year old kid yeah but i mean here's the thing and mike you have kids in zach i do you you have at least one child and uh, l let me bounce this over to zach's and then come back to you mike zach's with your children with you with with your child however many you have i forgot two. i think you have two. two that's what i thought yeah tell uh, like Last how are they on star wars well okay we're saying at least two yeah. at least two that you know of so what i guess where are they at you have a son who's 17 yeah and a son who's like six. We, we, you have a good spread of the demographic that disney's trying to hit where are they at with star wars well with my older boy what i did was i, I pulled him out of school for all of the major sequel premieres so we can go to the first showing the first day he got to miss school. It's kind of a cool thing to do. And then, wow. um, yeah, it, but when it comes to Rise of Skywalker, he didn't want to do that. Like he said, I want to, I want to go to school. Mm -hmm. So that tells you everything you need to know about that. Oh my God. Yeah. Really yeah. though, that's what happened. He doesn't want to go. And we're watching Book of Boba Fett, but he's raising more issues even than I am because I'm trying not to ruin it for him in case he might like it. Right. I don't mm -hmm. want to sit there and, yeah, yeah. and bag on it, but he goes off on it probably worse than I, even I would. And he's not even, he's not indoctrinated like I am into Boba Fett because growing up, that was a character that we built out in our minds with right. headcanon to be something that they didn't really show us. Um, but for me, the big warning sign was what Nick had said, was the, the Chewbacca Leia scene. Mm -hmm. was just how they dealt with Han was bad enough, but then how they dealt with him being gone was Yeah, just, and I, I only noticed it after the fact. I, I couldn't believe I was watching it at the time in the theater that, that mm. People who are going to make this series could screw that up so badly. Like, not that. Anyone who, because we we played those movies over and over again in our heads as kids. Yeah. And we know every scene in it. We know who cares about who and why. And mm -hmm. anyone who's lived like that would never let that scene play out that way. So I'm even shocked that, you know, Carrie Fisher doesn't say, hey, hold on a second here. Like, this isn't how this should go. But or with did my she? Younger... And, and was vetoed Maybe. down, you know? Yeah. That's right. My younger guy doesn't really care for it at all. So he's not into okay. it. Older boys feeding out of it. They've and then they've really they've really screwed themselves over, I think, with that. They haven't hooked the younger kids. And the older kids, I mean, it, it does look like Boba Fett looks like kid stuff. It's like a kid but, show. Yeah. But is it, it almost looks like it's made for first of all, girls. Girls between the age of yeah. say seven and eleven who don't even watch science fiction or have never read a science like they're just it, it's the same thing that they did with wheel of time where they didn't make wheel of time for people who read the books or were you know even fantasy fans they made it for fans who would never watch the show to begin they with. didn't know their audience <laughs> that's one thing i've learned even when i'm writing my own stuff is that the one thing you have to know is your audience who are you writing for and i think a lot of stuff yeah. that's coming out nowadays either either they don't know their audience or they know full well who their audience is oh yeah and don't care. oh yeah like especially with them um, uh, wheel of time and star wars i think these companies know who the audience is know who's bringing in the money 
but they right. just don't care. They, they, and um, why else would they try and be? Why else are they? If, for instance, in um, uh, the uh, the shows like Book of Boba Fett, and even what does it look like? The Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just had a brain fart. <laughs> you mean the better? You mean you mean the better? Book of Boba yeah, Fett. The best of Boba yeah, Fett. yeah. Um, why else would they be leeching off the EU, leeching ideas off the EU? Mm -hmm. I think you're being very kind by using the word leech. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> We've got a brand new person in chat. Heather Joy LaRue says, girls don't like this. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Hey, girls don't like this. Me and my daughter hate New Wheel of Time. Sad because I gave her the books and they did this to it. She knows it's bad though. Here's the thing, Heather. We talked about it last week and the week before that and the week before that. But every week, I made a lot of Wheel of Time videos. And even though the show ended, the first season, what is it, over a month ago now, people are still leaving comments on the videos that I did of the episode reviews saying how because I kept saying this is not Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time, they went and they downloaded the book to the Kindle. Or they went to a bookstore mm -hmm. and they got a hard copy. And, and Nick McCabe, is reading the book, you know, our, our person on this panel right now for the first time too, because it was so baffling as to even being a noob watching the show, it didn't make any sense just watching the show. Yeah, so even just want, even just on yeah. your own, it's just baffling. <laughs> yeah. And we we have we also had Brightest Day, uh, another YouTuber on the channel also didn't read the Wheel of Time, Heather. He watched the episode and was like, what am I watching? This makes no sense. Why should I care about these characters? And that's someone who didn't even know who Perrin, Rand, Matt, Egwene, Nynaeve, Tom, any of these characters were. So I think th that that what you're saying, Nick, it's, it's absolutely true. And it's not limited to Star Wars. What can we do about this? If you could time travel and I could go back in time and tell nine-year-old me that there's going to be a solo movie and I'm not going to watch it because I haven't, oh, I would kick on, myself yeah. in the nuts and run. Like, yeah. this guy's obviously a robot. Don't trust well, him. We, we made those movies in our head. We acted them out on the playing field with sticks at recess. We knew what Han Solo was going to be and do. We really did. And it's weird where all of us at seven years old could have made a better Han Solo movie than Opie. I mean, what's his name? Ron Howard, who was brought in after... <laughs> Opie. After... What's well, true? It's true. After Ron... It, it, Ron Howard was brought in after they fired two of the, air quotes, hottest directors in Hollywood that were brought in by Disney's Star Wars executives. And then Ron Howard had to reshoot 80% of that movie. Do you guys remember? Was it like in a couple of weeks? And the production budget almost doubled? And... When what did we get with with Solo? For me, I couldn't make it five minutes into the movie. I'm like, I this is not Star Wars, that is not a hand solo. I'm out. Has ever this is Salty Texas C. I am Corey DB. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you've seen and heard, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you on board. That way you know and we have things like live streams, which we are now going to be doing every Tuesday evening. Take care. I hope you're having a great 2022.